Hello everyone, RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more Danganronpa V3. In the previous video, we got um, abducted, I guess is the right word, I honestly don't know, uh, by Gonta, because Kui Kukichi told him that everyone hates bugs, and then he needs to gather everyone up so that he can give us an insect meet and greet, but it's all a ruse, so that he can uh, go get the motive videos from everyone so we could watch them all so yeah i have a feeling we're going to see a body in this episode um uh, i'm trying to think what else uh also um i went uh, just out of like pure curiosity i found out the reason why we didn't have like go to that hotel the night after it's because we only get we we need to get more keys and it's it's really hard to get keys with just playing that salmon game. Not that, like, cause like you bet, I can bet all my, I can bet the highest rank, which is 99, or, uh, coins and it's 99. But, uh, and then, like, if I get a certain amount of score to get the S rank to get the highest, uh, times bonus, that's like 287, I think. So, and that takes a long time to do. So, hopefully at some point, um, like another game unlocks that makes it so much easier to get more coins uh it looks like there's going to be more levels to the fishing game so maybe that would do it um so yeah so i'm not going to be getting any more of these keys anytime soon just, it really sucks that i have to you know that i have to get more of those items but i guess it makes sense um i'm also um uh yeah but i do plan to Unlike what I did with my Danganronpa 1 and Danganronpa 2 LPs back on my other channel, I wouldn't mind showing everyone off everyone's scenes. So, and that would include those hotel scenes. So, anyway, um, so anyway, let us continue on and talk to Kokichi, who came to get the videos of the people that are in here. All right, Kokichi. Yahoo! You guys okay? You all look drowned sewer. You all look like drowned sewer rats. Oh, I always forget that they turn off the audio for some dumb reason. Cause you're late. Wait. You said you'd be back by nighttime, but it's already 11 p.m. now. My bad. Sorry, I ran into an unexpected snafu. But. But look. Cut pads, gotta catch them all. I even got the pads belonging to the people who aren't here. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive video. Oh my! You said we don't want to. How exciting! Well, it's late and I'm getting sleepy, so let's start already. Hey, start what? Well, you know. Oh, don't you know, Gonta? Just keep watch on these guys. Don't. That's enough. That's it. I won't let you do as you please. Mm -hmm. I also don't want to use this unless I absolutely had to. Eats up a lot of my electricity. We must do it. That's neither here nor there. I will stop you right here, right now. Huh? Kibo, what are you going to do? Um. Still glaring at Kokichi, Kibo slowly reached the hand behind his ear. Oh, is this when he does his. It spun the mechanical parts there. He's lighting up? Is he gonna self-destruct or Huh? What's that sound? Awesome. One moment, please. I'm rewinding the tape right now. The tape? Right there. Kibo shouted at him, pushed his palm against his ear. What is he doing? That's when. Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Is that my voice? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs. Or something like that. 
Could this be? Oh yeah, I'm also saying. How about this? So Weechi's. So Weechi's. I've been saying Suichi's. I've been saying Suichi. His name wrong. It's so Weechi or I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm probably still saying it wrong. So what do you think? You just saw my auto recording function for the first time. What? Did he really just whip out an audio recorder like it's not like kind of you know, a secret weapon? Actually, really, it's like a sex tape in this day and age, huh? But it's metal type, you know. Wait, why? The sound quality isn't the issue. Hmm? Let's just put that aside now. More broadly, it seems to have worked. You can forgive. Kichi. What you mean? You not like bugs? Oh, yeah, now it's boring. Was it lie? You say we get them to understand how amazing bugs are. Was that lie? <laughs> <laughs> I love bugs from the bottom of my heart. All right. Oh, so not a lie. Then go to happy. Let's have fun with bugs all night. Hey, bugs! Who wants to pet more bugs? Huh? Eh? Everyone. We must run while we still can. <gasps> Wait, we need to take back our cubs pads first. Then go snatch the cub pads from Kokichi. Oof. Aww. Then we all ran out of the lab. Oh boy. After leaving the rooms, I could still hear the muffled buzzing and Kokichi screaming. <laughs> We might be corp. You might be corpse by it's tomorrow crazy. morning. Don't joke about that. What if it happens? It's just plain possible. Um. So how do we turn these cup hats to their rightful owners? Jeez. If only the mono cubs were here, I'm sure they'd help us. One. Hmm. Oh, it's just you. Two. It's fine. The others are asleep. If you need something, I can help you. Uh, um... Um, it's about the cup pads. Kukichi brought them to us and... I simply need to return them. I will return each one to your respective rooms, you bastards. Ah, uh, he left. Well, that was abrupt. But... But out of all of them, we could probably trust that one, right? Well then. Shall we go back to our dorms? It is well past night time. <laughs> That's true. We have the magic show tomorrow. You're right. Because of all this, we couldn't do a rehearsal. I'm sure it'll be a divine show. Yeah we'll be waiting for you to come watch. Hmm. Hmm. We'll be waiting, she says. It's Hinko's shows, not yours. Uh, um, I suppose it's all right. Just remembered, I wasn't able to train with Kaito today. Not too bad. We could do it tomorrow night, though. I'm sure Kaito would understand. It's not like I'll... Oh, God. He just said those words. It's not like I'll never see him again or anything. Kaito's dead. God damn it. Kaito is dead. That's the biggest death leg right there. It's not like I'll ever see him again or anything. <coughs> Kaido's dead. Worn out from all the commotion, we dragged ourselves back to our room. Kaido's fucking dead. Hmm. It's close to midnight now. Tomorrow's a busy day. I should get some sleep. Collapsed onto the bed and quickly fell asleep. Whoa, is this supposed to be like a clockwork orange or something? I need a miracle. Pray right while you're working, living and gambling? But miracles happen every day. For example, do you know what the odds of the earth existing are? The same as a tornado blowing through a junkyard and assembling a working car. Wait, what? That's a miracle! That's why us being alive on Earth is a miracle. All kinds of miracles happen every day. 
Life is made up of little miracles. But whenever a miracle does happen, it just gets chalked up as faith or destiny or whatever. Be grateful for the miracles that have already happened instead of hoping for new ones. If you do that, you should be able to enjoy miracles, right? Uh-huh. Just those three. It is now 8 a.m. Oh. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's 8 a.m. So wake up. Ah. Oh, he left. Uh, yes, okay. So impatient. He's been crazy lately. So what's making him impatient? I don't like impatient men. I want to get along with Mana Yosuke. All right. A little early, but I'll go. Go ahead and do the nighttime announcement too. And that's that. It'll be 10 p.m. later. <laughs> it's too early. You're impatient. This is trying to warp time and space. So long. Farewell. Ah, Vader, saying bear bye. Hmm. Today's the day of Himiko's magic show. <coughs> but the incest fiasco yesterday and now this. Do we really have time for doing this? Well. Well, I suppose I shouldn't think about it so much. I'll just go to the gym for now. Jim, are you gonna have breakfast? Hey, Smoogie. I think so, so far I love Smoogie the most so far. Like, like maybe. God, I hope she doesn't die, but. As soon as I'm done with Angie, I might finish Miu and then I'll start Samugi. Again, I love her the most. Samugi. Good morning, Samugi. Good morning. Are you okay? Are you okay? You look a bit sick. Oh my. Yeah, it's just the sound of those bugs buzzing is still in my head. Even after I went to bed, I just kept hearing it, so I didn't get that much sleep. That's. Oh, that must have been rough. Kota would be sad to hear, but I like bugs even less now. I'm glad there aren't any bugs outside of Gonta's lab. Or wait, are there? Oh. Well, Gonta did say that he thought he saw a really tiny bug once. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did say that. But... Beyond Gonta's 20 0.625 vision, you could only barely see it, right? So, isn't it possible he was just plain mistaken? No. No, actually, I really hope he was mistaken. Oh, my. Uh, I'm so over bugs. I'm just going to forget last night and enjoy the magic show. You're right. Yeah. All right. The show's in the gym, right? I'm going to go on ahead. We're going to see a dead body by the end of this, I'm sure. I'd be shocked if we got another set of free time. Hey, Kibo. 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 Good morning. Yes. Good morning, Su. Suichi. How are you feeling today? Are you still sore from the events of last night? Okay. Uh, I'm fine. Are you all right? 100%. Yes, I'm fine. I recharged the electricity that I used on my recording function. Even so, I'm very happy that I was able to finally be able to use my functions to help everyone. Kyo's recording function is not exactly revolutionary technology, but it did help a lot. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Kibo. You really earned your title of Ultimate Robot. Well, of course. Oh, it was nothing, really. If you even ever need my help for anything, please don't hesitate <laughs> to ask. Ha, yeah, I sure um, will. So, the magic show is starting soon, yes? Everyone has probably gathered in the gym already. We should g get going as well. Oh boy. Kaido's fucking dead. Or he's going to be the one dead. If 
they're either gonna frame Himiko and Angie for this. Like, it's probably gonna. I hope it doesn't end up being Angie because I'm so close to finishing her up. I have no idea what this room goes to. Is this my ultimate lab? It just hasn't opened? Because, I mean, it has somewhat the same pattern around me that I do. But it doesn't make sense that it's not opening. Maybe I'll unlock after this uh, after the chapter here. Hi, right, Kurimu. Kurumi. <coughs> Tojo, part of the Tojo clan from Yakuza. Kurumi. Ah, Kirumi, good morning. Good morning. Everyone has already gathered for the show. Oh, thank God, no one's dead yet. Ah, is that right? I suppose everyone's looking forward to it. That is correct. Miyu seems particularly excited. Her eyes were lit up like a child's. You stay excited, huh? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited too. It seems as Either way, it would seem that some out outrageous event transpired last night. Hey! Yeah, Kukichi tricked Gunter into going along with his motor video screening plan. But thanks to Kibo, we put a stop to it. It's okay. I see. I see. But so Kukichi truly does intend to oppose us. Please, no go matter. ahead. Let's go inside. Everyone is waiting. Ah, I love Kurumi. I want her to live too, but I have so many people that I want to live that I know it's not going to happen. <laughs> Like, I want everyone else to live. I want Kaede to live. God damn it. Whoa, hello. The amazing Himiko's magic show. Whoa, it's even nicer than I thought it'd be. Yahoo! Welcome to our magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Okay. Yeah, it is. I didn't think you would have a real stage set up. Did you and Himiko do all this? No, no. No, no, this world's been impossible with just two people. I got others to help us, the monocubs. Keiko and Kibo helped carry the equipment from Himiko's research lab. Oh, okay. I designed the Kurt stage, but Karimu sued the curtains. Thanks, B2 Everyone is so nice. Atua deserves all the credit. No. Uh, shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit? Oh. Uh, well, I didn't ask you to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for. That's true. We have to say that. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Huh? Done preparing? You're not ready yet? Uh, yep. The start of the show needs to settle her nerves. The start of the show requires mental preparations. <laughs> this is adorable. She's shaking like a leaf. God damn. What the hell is this? Can I smack it? What's with the fish? A water tank? It looks like there's fish inside. Is this part of the trick too? I mean, everyone, like everyone I talked to said everyone has already gathered here, yet I don't see everyone. I don't see Kaito, Miku, Kokichi. So there's only there's ten in here, kind of myself. So I don't see Kaito, Kokichi, and Miku. That's thirteen. I'm missing one person. Who am I missing? Don't want to check it up. Ah, fuck it. Who am I missing? And there. Oh yeah, Ryoma. God damn it, I always forget about Ryoma. So am I gonna have to talk to Himiko about this? Could it be Himiko, are you a bit nervous? <laughs> just a little bit. It certainly doesn't look like just a little bit. Because the magic I'll be performing today is the extreme water magic underwater escape art. I've never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little huh? nervous. You never cast it before? Hmm. <laughs> and today, in order to raise the stakes, 
And there's a time limit. If I don't escape from the tank within the time limit, piranhas will drop in. I'll be pureed. Huh? Parade? Parade? This is looking a little dangerous. The water is cloudy, so I can't see very clearly, but I do see fish swimming around. Those are all piranhas, huh? They don't look like normal piranhas. Hmm. Those piranhas were in my research lab. Angie said we should use them for the show. Uh, no. Well, wait, piranhas are way too dangerous. Ah, oh. ah, uh, Tenko. Kimiko! Please reconsider. They're piranhas. They're, they're nothing like lasagna. With my magic. No need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas. With huh? my magic. You're going to kill them? I thought this was an escape trick. Um... Kimiko, are you serious? Uh... There's no way I can stop now. Since Atua's watching the show no! and all. There's no such thing as Atua. And she has brainwashed you. What was that? You don't believe in my magic? Uh... Well... I... I can do it. I'm a skilled young girl, as I'm a mage. <coughs> she psyched herself up and headed straight for to the water tank. <laughs> of course, I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend. Tenko. Aww. Oh gosh. Yoo-hoo! Lady Himiko, did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? Yeah, I said my prayers and went pee. Yeah. <laughs> then let's get the show started. Oh boy. It's starting already, but not everyone is here yet. Maki, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaito aren't here. What happened to Kaito? I thought he'd be here for sure. Oh god. I wonder if something happened. Thank you, Atua, for being with us today. Atua? Oh, God. Boo! Boo! You're supposed to thank us first! Ha, 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 ha. I present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko! The, the, the magic I will perform today is the extreme water magic. I'm pretty sure that is Monica's voice actress. Dear water escape act. If you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you. <coughs> when the timer above the stage starts, Himiko will enter the water tank. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate, suspended tank will open and drop in a school of piranhas! Oh my goodness! After the piranhas have fallen and the curtain is opened... If by some miracle Himiko has been gobbled up, please give a big round of applause! A what? Just kidding! It's a joke! Um... Are you feeling alright? I'm concerned about Himiko. She's not responding properly to Angie's jokes. Mm. Don't worry. Don't have bad feeling. <sighs> oh, Atua, please protect Himi. No! Wait, what am I doing for you, Atua? That's Angie's stick! <laughs> oh. Well, I guess you could pray to some other god. Begin the amazing Himiko's magic show. I'm so enthused. Particular high pitched voice Himiko made her announcement and started the timer. Oh lordy. Then she took a breath and dove into the water tank. Okay, I'm closing the curtain. As he closed the curtains, obscuring the water tank from view. We stared silently, waiting. 
I clench my fists nervously. My palms damp with sweat. Emiko is still not out! She went in mere moments ago. Well, do you think she's all right? I mean, all she has to do is just climb uh, out, doesn't she? To worry. Should we do something? She, she still hasn't come out! Are you sure she's okay? Gonta can't take it anymore! Gonta cried out, leaped out of his seat, Dan. Wait, Gonta? He ran up onto the stage. Oh, you can't do that! We're still in the middle of the show! B but if Gonta does nothing, piranhas will eat Himiko! Wait, hold on. He, he did not say what was typed there. Listen. B but if Gonta does nothing, Piranhas will eat Himiko! Himiko get eaten by piranhas. Huh? Um, less than 10 seconds remain. I don't care if it ruins the trick! Just come out! This dress is bad for my heart! Himiko! And when the buzzer hits zero, the bu- Death? Oh god. And then... Uh, Gonta? Fell straight into the water tank. Kimiko was swimming in. Huh? Huh? Look! The piranhas! The uh, hurry! The curtains! Open the curtains already! Got it! I'm opening it now! Oh, God. When Edgy pulled apart the cur curtains, I'm sure Himiko's fine. We witness an unbelievable sight. Uh oh, dead body. Dead body. Not Himiko's though. <gasps> no! Oh my god. That was. Th it took a few moments for all of us to even pr process it. But then again, perhaps we weren't trying to process it. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it. No, I want Ryoma to live! Great, huh? Behold, the magnificent underwater escape. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. A body has been discovered. I mean, what's left of Everyone, one anyway? Please gather in the gym. Yeah. Yeah. A body in the gym? Then when Himiko turned to look back at the water tank. Thin line divides heaven and hell. Who I'd say that for sure. Damn it, I want Ryoma to live, man. For the second time at the Ultimate Academy, a bi discovery announcement sounded off. Those who weren't present at the magic show heard in and came running. So the only three. What? What's going on? <laughs> I don't know what's happened. No, no. We should break the tank, right? We gotta check what's inside. What? What? Break it? Yeah. Yeah, break it. It'll take too long to drain it by hand. Huh? But what will we even use to break? Hey! Gonta Kibo, you're up. Huh? Well, what do you mean we're up? So Gonta, throw Kibo as hard as he can. Use that robot like a battering ram. Do not mock Who me. are you calling a battering ram? Got it. Gonta, throw Kibo. Got it. Got it. Then I'll help too. 
Please, wait. Now, just wait a second. You don't have to team up now. <laughs> oh my god, poor Kibo. Poor Kibo. Sound was instant. A wall of piranhas and water dried red with blood rushed out. We watched helplessly as the area flooded with water. After some deliberation, we decided to start cleaning everything up. <sighs> However, I made sure not to disturb the scene more than necessary. With Kurumi, Kurumi's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start investigating. Um, I gather Ramo's body and belongs in one place. Kiba looks depressed. He was just used as a battery ram, so I understand why. However, he's being reduced such that he can't be carried in one hand. How freaking mm -hmm. fragile life is. Going to put piranhas in buckets. Piranhas all got big tummies. Going to think they full. Ew. Today, Ryama is fish food, and tomorrow, he'll be fish shit. Oh my. Don't say such things. Himiko? Himiko, are you okay? Is this... This wasn't an accident, was it? This is me. The killing game has started again. <laughs> How? How could this happen? We, we swore to each other, didn't we? We swore we never let the killing game start up again. Why? So that was all just a lie. You guys are liars. All you liars. Apologize to Ryoma. He believed the killing game wouldn't happen anymore. Did that is no tears make mark you as a liar right now. Well, you figure it out. You're pretty good either, Kayo. Hey! Hey guys, how's it feel now that you've got a second murder victim on your hands? Huh? Are you almost transparent? Has my X-ray vision superpower finally awakened? Rising Shiner sign! <laughs> You don't have superpowers, he's just been reduced to a skeleton. All right. Finally, I've been waiting for the killing game to start up again. And that means we can put all this boring crap on hold and start playing the blame game. That's nice. You're ready to go, Mana. Who are you again? The hell you saying? Mana Yusuke, you should at least remember your own kid's name. Monathine, are you okay? Five? Four? Hmm? Are you counting, Monathine? Why are you counting? No. Because three, I'm seriously two, gonna puke one now. <laughs> it's so adorable. Ah, she puked again. You stupid. What the hell are you doing, you failure? Dumbass! Listen up. We're here to make sure the killing game goes smoothly, Tapish. So also, to keep me company, a new mascot's presence presents lots of exciting business opportunities. Who cares? Yeah, that be failure. Dang it! What? Me too. Yoo-hoo! Hey, hey, this conversation is fun as all, but we should really get this over with. Cause I do Don't system. we need to start investigating or something? All right, I'll get the culprits this time for sure. Hurry up and give us the thingy. Okay. You mean the Monokuma file, right? I also investigated the cause of death this time, so read it to your heart's content delight. Pops. Oh, this is sort of unrelated, but I got a great business idea. Oh. Yeah, that's totally unrelated. Got it. Let's use the Monokuma file to start a funeral service business. You know how it gets awkward at funerals when you start asking about the cause of death. And that's that. If we pass out Monokuma files, even the worst deaths will be... will get a giggle out of the attendees. Well... Well, Pops, what do you think? They're so freaking cute! <laughs> huh? Cute. The way you pass out the files is just so cute. Why don't you come, o come with me over here? Hey, Pops is gonna lick me all over. 
Hmm? Huh? Well, I was showering Mana Yosuke with all his love. Showering. Hmm. You think maybe Mana Yosuke's right? Maybe Father doesn't like us anymore because we're not hostile and threatening enough. I think maybe I'll follow Mani, that's okay. So long. Farewell. Oh, Peter, saying bear bye. I think Mani, is the next Sorry. bird, right? In any event, let us begin the investigation. But... Investigation. So it's really going to start again. Actually... I can't believe it. One of us killed Ryoma. Someone among us. How did this happen? No Gonto don't want to investigate friends. No one else suspect friends. Then... Then don't do it. I'm not going to investigate either. Huh? Huh? Because... It'll be fine if you're a short one. A short person. I a child caregiver would be much help. Wow! Miku is just so full of confidence. Maki! Wait, or Maki! Wait, Maki! I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around to keep and kept walking. What was that? The fuck is that bitch's problem? She's seriously not gonna investigate? Incomprehensible. It seems rather irresponsible. Yes. She might we assume someone else will take care of it. And I suppose she isn't wrong. Why would she say that now? She participated in Taro's investigation. Although I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. I've been told she spends all day in her lab. What's she doing in there anyway? Oh boy. Well, I'll have to talk with Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. Always messing Seriously, around. Seriously, piss, we gotta do this. But it's our only chance to survive. Right? Yep, I'll do my very best too. Because. Gonta and I have to work especially hard so we can regain everyone's trust. You're right. Oh, yes, you're right. <laughs> but we don't even need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. Huh? What? Right? Ryoma was murdered during a certain little magic girl show, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But... But, she's so suspicious that seems not suspicious. But then again, she's made herself look not suspicious, so now she's super suspicious. Hey, degenerate man! Gee, shut up already! How dare you toy with Himiko's pure heart? You got me! You just said Himiko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. You gotta be kidding me! Ah, uh, shut up, shut up! Himiko would never do something like that. I I know her best, right, Himiko? No. No. <laughs> Part where you agree with me. Anyway, you can at least tell us the trick behind the underwater escape act. Can you at least? Because if we know how the trick works. We can try to figure out who the culprit, how the culprit killed. It's impossible. That's not possible. Huh? Not possible. Why not? It's magic. There's no trick in the underwater escape because it was my magic. How long is that donkey lip midget gonna keep saying that? Um... Himiko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's plain to see we need your help. Cut it out. Yeah, my answer won't change, no matter what you say. Because I'm a mate. There's no trick to my magic, because it's Seriously? magic. Come on. How long are you gonna keep that bullshit up? Listen, if we don't catch the culprit, we're... Cut it out already! Well, that's enough. If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic. I use my Neo Aikido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko. What? I'm not bullying her. It's her fault she's being so stubborn. Hmm. Well, it's fine if you don't want to tell us. I'll just find out myself. Right? Actually, that sounds pretty fun. It seems as if. To solve this mystery, we must first learn the trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We must do it. You have no choice in the matter. He's right. Yeah, no choice. Oh god, it's going to end up being Angie, isn't it? There's no choice but to find out. Find the. This investigation is to save all our lives because we're risking our lives in this in the class trial. It's 
It's going to end up being Angie, isn't it? I bet. <laughs> Kirin. Shuichi. Hey, Suichi, you got a sec? Huh? What's wrong? I mean... Before you start investigating, there's something I gotta tell you. Alright! You're my sidekick from now on. Huh? You're a sidekick? You know... I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so I'm not really cut out for the investigation. But that's a good quality to have for our investigation. Listen up. Plus, the only stage fit for Kaito Mi Momota illuminated the stars is the universe itself. <laughs> so I'll leave the details to you. Pave the path for my success. But... Ah, but I don't know what to do as a sidekick. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll make all the tough calls. You just gotta do what I say. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? I mean... So... Leave it to me! I'll take full responsibility. Since you're my sidekick, there's nothing to worry about. Huh? Huh? Got it. Alright, let's get started. First, we gotta check the Monokuma file. Uh, okay. Yes, right. Kind of making me a sidekick like this, could it be? I'm scared. I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Is he trying to help me? Hey! Hey, what's the matter? Let's check the Monokuma file already. Uh, okay. Oh, right. I kind of yeah, I looked over the Monokuma file. Looked them as Ryama Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. His body was discovered in the gym. Cause of death was drowning. His body was consumed by prawns until only bones remained. No other injuries can be confirmed at this time. I think this was the most brutal death. Oh, man. What? There's less right in here than before. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. The time of death isn't right in here. Hmm? Remember, previous Monokuma file indicated Rantaro's time of death, correct? The victim's wife was discovered in the library. That's my time of death is 9 10 p.m. The victim was subject to a blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, resulting in crack, cranial. Fractures and intimate death. No other injuries were detected. Detected. I say detected. But the Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate a time of death. What? Did Monokuma mess up? No. No, this was intentional. Monokuma told us that we he won't give us any information that will reveal the culprit. But thinking about it that way. It implies that the information would be the I mean, evidence for the culprit. Ah. So that means the key to this case is the time of death? Well done! Ah, there you go. I knew I picked a good sidekick. One more thing to the bar go by because of that. We almost cause of death. It's a drowning, but if that's the case. Might be. Might be able to. Ravel the case from here. Monokuma file 2 has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Alright! Alright, now that we're done with the Monokuma file, we can start the investigation. My first command to my new sidekick is... Investigate everywhere and find clues that will lead us to the culprit. He's pretty commanding, as I expected. Well... The large water tank from the escape trick. The glass is broken. It's in Come bad shape. On, man. Do you guys really need to break the glass? Everything's soaked now. But well, if we had left Ryama's body there, we wouldn't have been able to investigate. That's right. I guess it would have uh, taken way too long to just empty the whole tank with a bucket. Okay. It was a lot to clean up, but at least we can investigate the tank now. There might be a clue around here. I should take a closer look. Got it. 
Yeah, you're right. Because we broke the glass, there isn't much of anything left in the tank. <laughs> Let's be on bounce find something. Well, let's look at the handcuffs. <coughs> handcuffs? Why are there handcuffs here? Still locked. And there's a small scratch on them. The cuffs appear to be stainless steel, so not too hard to scratch. They must have been scraping against something hard and sharp. Bronze teeth. Ah. What are those handcuffs? Were they in the tank? <coughs> But I've never seen handcuffs in the warehouse. Where'd they come from? <clears throat> it's true. There weren't any in the warehouse, so where did they come from? I apologize, that should be me and my mic when I'm coughing like this. They weren't in the warehouse, another place. I might have handcuffs this. Could it be? He's a prisoner. The almost lab wasn't just the ultimate tennis pro, but also for the ultimate prisoner? So perhaps some element of that was in the lab as well. That somewhat makes sense, I guess. Well, it's not gonna let me talk to anyone when I'm right here, right? Huh? What is this? It is the control panel for the stage lights. It allows you to raise and lower the baton. Hmm. Ah, I see. Huh, it's not, not that important. Might as well get the bucket. It's a bucket full of piranhas. Don't just say they picked up all the piranhas and put them here. I can't believe Gonto would do that with his bare hands. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Ugh. When I think that Ryoma is inside the stones, I don't even feel like eating them. <laughs> Why would you even consider eating them in the first place? Yeah! Only the strong can survive in this world that Atua has created. Amen. The least we can do is pray for Ryoma's soul so that he may enter Atua's kingdom. Come on, man. Can you really go there looking like this? But, but. Those piranhas sure were a miraculous mystery. Maybe Atua was behind those videos too. Huh? What are you talking about? This is it, right as the show started. What a surprise! I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday when we were preparing. No. More piranhas? Huh? What, did they multiply overnight? There's no way they could reproduce that fast. But, but... But, but compared to yesterday, the piranhas look super crammed into the tank. Ah, so they looked more crammed together. Dear, dear. Thought there's some murky, so I couldn't tell how many more piranhas there were. Oh my! But anyway, it was super, 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 super cramped. What a surprise! Super, 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 super cramped. <sighs> Jeez, we get it. More piranhas than yesterday. Man, there might be something to that. Okay, cramped piranhas, eh? <laughs> Alright, well, obviously I gotta talk. Uh, yes. God. Look at Ryoma's belongings. Ryoma's belongings are all gathered together. His clothes, his mom had the key to his room. Ah! Oh, that's it. If we use the key, we can investigate Ryoma's room. Hmm? What's in this, this room to investigate? Remember, the motive video. We should find out whose video Ryoma had. Then you think Ryoma was killed because of that video? No. I can't say for certain, but we should check just in case. Ooh, although he might have had my video. If that's the case, I might be a suspect. Well, no point thinking about that now. Ryoma's body is nothing more than a skeleton now. Even a shadow of what he was. God damn! What the heck is this? Hey, is this really Ryoma? I didn't see the moment it happened, so I couldn't believe. So I can't believe it. Uh, okay, I'm certain of it. Remember, everyone watching the show witnessed it. There's 
start we only become nothing but bones. Damn. I can't believe he died in such a gruesome way. I know, right? God yeah. damn. The water filled with blood so fast we didn't see the whole thing, thankfully. But the skeleton un unmistakably realms. Jeez. Jeez. I knew he wanted to die, but he didn't have to actually go and do it. No. No, I don't think that's right, Keith Kaido. Realma wasn't trying to die. He said as much. It was just of us who wanted to live. Huh? Oh, what do you mean he was jealous? Hmm. I'm positive that Ryoma wanted to join us. That's why he needed a reason to live. So that he could have the same feelings we do. So that he could have the reason to keep going. To fight alongside us. <laughs> then he was a real idiot. Who cares if you don't have a reason to live? Can't your reason for living be something simple like good food or your friends? Damn! Damn it, that idiot! Oh, let's look at the glass. Fragments of that broken glass, broken glass water tank have been piled up. There's so many tiny pieces. Those and Tanko certainly didn't hold back when they threw Kibo at the glass. Why did they throw Kibo though? That's so mean. There's a square pane of glass at the bottom of the water tank. It doesn't look like a broken piece. The other fragments are too are far too random than that. It's nearly impossible for the broken water tank to produce such a perfect square of glass. What exactly is this pane? Okay. And that's all I wanted to see around the water tank. Alrighty. Well, let's... There it goes to the stage. To investigate the stage. I'm sure there's a clue there. Alright. There's the timer and the thing in Kirumi. This is the timer that was counting down to the escape trick. Didn't realize it was also a timer to reveal Rayoma's body. Oh, it was Rayoma's body in the tank here, but the prawns couldn't eat because they were so cramped together, I wonder. That's probably is going to be the case. When I stood on the stage and looked up, the prawn tank was directly overhead. It was set up so that the bomb would open when the timer had reached zero. The bomb is open now, and the tank is empty. It doesn't look as though it had a lid. You can see the ceiling straight through. And it, only the front side of this glass, the other sides are made of wood. So the round tank has no lid, and only the front floor is made of glass. Hey, so. Oh, yeah, the tank was from Himiko's research lab. Ah, oh. uh, Kaito, you have carried supplies for the show, right? Got it. Yeah, me, Kibo, Himiko, and Angie. It was a lot of work. But I just helped carry it. I wonder how they hung it from here. There. You know... It's a heavy tank full of water and piranhas. Can't, can't have been easy to lift. That is. Seems that it, this is where the light lightning bed in oh. the gym is located. Ah, Kirumi. It seems as The it. control panel on the side of the stage allows you to raise and lower the button. It seems they lowered the baton. Button, attach the piranha tank to it, and it raised again. I'm probably pronouncing mm. that word wrong, but I don't know. Hmm. I never knew Latin, Latin buttons were sturdy enough to lift a tank like that. Correct. Since it was built to lift heavy objects, it was probably quite sturdy. Alrighty. Alright, Kurumi. Hey! You were helping set up the show, right, Kurumi? Did you hear anything about the trick? I do not agree. No, I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my help consisted of suing the banner and the curtains. So I do not know the details of the trick. Well, I see. All right. My first command to my new sidekick is... Listen up. Let's get everyone find clues. Don't overlook anything, you got it? Well, what else? 
can I see over here? Oh, this close curtain. It's cool and covered, but I believe there's a window on the other side. What's the matter? What's the matter? You want to check that window out? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, but... Ah. Well, it's too high for, up to reach, huh? Yeah, it is pretty high. Even higher than the Piranha Tank. Higher than the Piranha Tank? Yeah. That's right. There was a ladder next to the stage. I'll go get it. I had to quickly head off to the stage. You returned carrying the ladder that was set up beside the stage over her shoulder. Hey, so... But you know, shouldn't the psychic be the one bringing the ladder? Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose so. Thank you. I set up the ladder on top of the stage. I climbed up the rungs. That's the ladder to the pool, isn't it? You can just barely reach the window with this. And if you open the curtain... Oh, the window is open. What do you mean, barely reach it? It's right there. If the window's open, does that mean the culprit used it? The culprit may have gone in and out through the window. So what's on the other side of the window? The pool. I can't see much, but I think it's the pool. The pool, huh? I heard we had one here somewhere. All right, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. Oh, wait. What is this? Hmm? What's up? Nothing. It just looks like marks on the window frame. On the frame has distinct ab abrasions. I might have a right to the case, I should remember it. Okay. Marked window frame has been added to the Monokuma pad. Two bullet section. Climb down from the ladder onto the stage. Hey! You done investigating the window? Then I'll put the ladder back. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you, Kaido. Although, shouldn't it be the psychic Jeez. job? Shouldn't the psychic be doing this? He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. And he even offered first time, too. Let's get everything I want to on the stage. We all done here? Then let's go. Okay. Yeah, okay. Alrighty guys, well I think I'm gonna end the part off here since I think I did most of the investigating that I can in this room. I still probably have to talk to everyone, so thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below if you liked by the video, which you didn't like about the video. And let me know. What did you think of Himiko's magic trick? I thought it was pretty fun, you know, besides the fact that Ryoma died even though I wanted him to live because he was the one that said like I had no reason to live, so it would make, make sense for the person I wanted to die to live. But yeah. And as always guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat, and subscribe to the main channel too, that's in the description below. So let's follow me on Twitter, both my main Twitter, RBGKimK Twitter, are in there too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again, and I'll see you all next time.